going to solve question seven for you because a few people were struggling with this one. This is the information we're given that line AB is perpendicular to line BC and they give us these three points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the gradient of each one of these lines and I know that they are perpendicular to each other. Now, as you'll notice, they both have B in them and B has a letter in them. So we won't get a numerical answer. We'll get an algebraic answer. So remember, we do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So if I have AB, I'm going to say y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So it's minus negative 5, so it's plus. So that gives me negative 5 over x plus 5. All right, let's look at BC now. Same thing. I'm going to do negative 2 plus 5 because it's minus negative 5. And then I do 3 minus x, which gives me 3 over 3 minus x. Now I know that these two are inverses of each other, right? Because they're perpendicular. So I am going to zoom out for a second. Let's move that over a little bit and then change colors. All right, so I'm going to take this information now and say that AB is perpendicular to BC. So let's start with AB. So we've got negative 5 over x plus 5, and that is going to equal the inverse of this. So I've got 3 minus x on the top, and I'm going to make the bottom negative 3. That just makes my life a bit easier. Um, you can either make the top negative or the bottom negative, but you can't do both, right? Because that's like multiplying by negative 1 twice. Um, so just pick one. It doesn't matter if you change the top or the bottom, you'll still get the right answer. Then, like we always do if we have two sets of fractions, we're going to cross multiply. So if I do that, I get negative 3 times negative 5, which is 15. And then I have two sets of brackets, which I need to FOIL. So then I've got 15 over here. Then I've got my 3x plus 15 minus x squared minus 5x. Let's come up here. So then I have, well, actually, I'm going to make that zero. Let's just do that straight away. So I'm going to make this side zero and bring 15 over here to subtract. So I have negative x squared. I've got negative 5x and plus 3, so that's minus 2x. I've got plus 15, and then I have to subtract 15. So that gives me negative x squared minus 2x. Now, I need to still solve for this. This is a quadratic, so I'm going to get two different x solutions. So I always take out my common factors. And for this statement to be true, x equals 0 here and negative 2 here. So these are my two possible x coordinate values. If you weren't sure if that was true, you could put these back into these equations and see if this, in fact, why don't we just do that? So I'm going to put 0 into this. So this is negative 5 over 0 plus 5. So that's negative 1, which means if I put that coordinate into this, I know the answer should be 1, right? Because I know that they're inverses of each other. So 3 over 3 minus 0, look at that, it's 1. And you could do the same thing with negative 2 and see if that works. Let's do that in what color haven't I used yet? Purple. So I could have negative 5 over negative uh, 2 plus 3. Oh, sorry, negative, negative, oh my gosh, negative 2 plus 5 is 3. Okay, so that means this one should be positive 3 fifths. So I've got 3 on the top of this one, and then 3 minus 2, 3 plus 2 is 5. Look at that, they are inverses of each other. So both of these values work. All right, let me know if you've got any other questions.